Hello and welcome back to my channel. Obviously, from the title of this video, I will be talking about being black, but also about being white. Um, so, basically, from the beginning, as long as I can remember, um, well, from when I was kind of like on my own, obviously, like not with my parents when I was that little, but people would ask me, starting in elementary school, um, what are you? That was the question. What are you? Uh, what do you mean? Like, well, are you, like, what are you, what are you, you know? Like, and they don't know how to word it. So, um, I think nowadays that, um, there's more of us, there's more mixed people. Um, people are a little bit more, um, knowledgeable on, like, what's your ethnicity or what's your race, that sort of thing. Um, but I got a lot of, what are you? Are you black or are you white? Are you Mexican? Um, so... I, it's not um, a question that I am unfamiliar with and I'm pretty used to it by now and I just say oh I'm black and white I'm mixed and they're like oh okay you know so that's that um, but um, yeah I where I grew up I was one of the only um, mixed people around so I had a lot of white friends and a lot of Mexican friends and that's about all <laughs> um, so um, when I got to middle school, there was a little bit more, um, like, black people, and when I got to high school, there was, a, like, same, kind of, like, went down more. There was, like, less black people in my high school. And then fast forward to when I went to college, and I went to college in Louisiana, and it was just tons of black people, the most black people I've ever seen in my whole life. So it was more, um, it was more of, like, a thing then. But also, to go with that in the south because it was more black and white people only black and white people therefore you have there was a lot more mixed people as well so people weren't really like as like sorry I'm, I feel like I'm losing focus um, people weren't really as like um, what are you you know because they've seen they've seen there's more mixed people over there so they know you know like by your skin tone by your hair like she's she's mixed so it wasn't really like they weren't as questioning more um, but what I'm getting to is being somebody that looks different than your friends. Um, so, sorry, I th thought I heard a little pitter patter in my son's feet. Um, looking different than your friends can be difficult and just trying to find a place to fit in. And I feel like, I don't know, I, I, and I don't want this to be like, oh, I feel sorry for you sort of thing. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. Because growing up, it was never, it never made me sad. I was never um, upset or anything like that because I guess at home I got a lot of, not like affection, but like a lot of um, positive, positive, positivity at home, positivity at home. Like uh, my parents were always very, you know, like, I don't know they built up my self-esteem is what I'm saying so I never like felt like oh it's sad that you don't have any friends like that but I looking back there was a lot of times that I did not like I, I a lot of my and this is more maybe like going into body type and stuff like this and like hair so more like um, superficial stuff but like my friends were small and skinny and um, all had like a certain body type and I did not so that was kind of like I felt kind of like awkward because I was so much bigger than my friends um, height wise and that's this is another thing just being a tall my dad's tall so I was a lot bigger than my friends I was a lot thicker than my friends and um, I was a dancer so being in that environment I think kind of like just affected things in my <laughs> head you know and then um, I, yeah so like dancing and then so the, and then my hair was another thing like in the dance world like it's a lot of white girls with like st straight or like manageable hair and then I had like this curly crazy hair that they didn't know what to do with and so like that was another thing that just like made me different and it was like sometimes like oh, I just wish I had straight hair you know like you just want to be you just want to be 
you to want to fit in. You want to be like everybody else. So, um, like now, it's not a big deal. Like I still, to this day, and it's not because I don't like my hair. Like my hair is fine. Um, but like sometimes I would like to have straight hair, just like girls with straight hair. They curl their hair, and you know they can have whichever hair they want that day. And sometimes I would wish like, oh, I could just wish my, I could like change my curls for a day and make them like a different like. Anyways, this curly hair is a whole different video. Um, but you know, like I just wanted to be able to switch up my look sometimes, like like white or Mexican people can do, you know? So, um, yeah, looking different. I see how like mixed people could struggle, um, especially if you're not in a um, community or society, like a, in your neighborhood where you don't have a lot of diversity. Luckily, I um, grew up with a lot of, not a lot of black people, but white, Mexican, and some black people. So I didn't feel like I was like all white people, only mixed person, you know, or all black people, only white mixed person, you know. Um, but yeah, it could be tough. And um, I don't really know where else to go with this. So I'm just going to end it there. Sorry, I'm just like checking the camera to make sure that it is um, staying focused on me. So um, there might be a catch up or a recap or an addition to this video, um, like a part two, once I, you know, kind of like see what people's how they react to this or if see if I left out something um, but put your experiences down about if people ask you what you are or how you answer it or if you I have this another thing like I haven't had a lot of negative experiences about like oh well you're mixed you know like we don't want you to be in our group of friends or oh like you're too white like you can't hang out with us and maybe because I, I was in uh, sports like I played volleyball so I always had my volleyball team and I didn't really try to be like fitting in like I didn't try to fit into any group of friends like if they you know like I had people and we were friends and I don't know how to explain it like I didn't try to be friends I didn't try to be with like the in crowd or anything and so I was never I never put myself out there to be um, what is it called not disrespected um, but to be like not accepted you know what's the word I'm trying to think of when you get like you put yourself out there and you get rejected I never put myself out there in a group to, or in like in a situation to be rejected so maybe that's why I didn't have any of those experiences but anyways um, Leave your experiences down below if being mixed has affected your life. I haven't really had any negative experiences um, being a mixed person or biracial person, which I'm grateful for. Um, it's not to say that it hasn't had any struggles with like accepting myself or like, um, you know, like not like with like my self-esteem like oh I wish I was skinnier I wish I had straight hair that sort of stuff I think is normal but even like white girls go through this or like black girls you know it's just like a normal thing that teenagers and females go through but um as far as being biracial I haven't had any negative experiences luckily so leave your comments down below if you've had negative experiences um comment below if there's any other topics you want me to talk on and make sure to check out my website because they are um, putting new things up every day www.lovejamesmarie.com and I will see you guys next time. Ciao!